Hello, welcome to the coffee house. I'm Vic Bonacci, your barista today. So we're still in our soft launch here in the coffee house. So, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of noise, a lot of things going on. Still working on building that drive through. Um, I'm excited though. And I'm excited for a lot of reasons, but one right off the bat is that I've been talking to uh, some of my friends and some people that I hope will soon be friends to get them on the show um, here joining me so that we can provide more of an experience to you. So it's not just, you know, your barista telling you what's up, uh, what's on his mind or maybe her mind. By the way, we're still hiring baristas. So if you know someone out there with good people skills, I'm a people person. And maybe a, a coffee uh, expertise doesn't hurt either. Uh, send them my way. Comments below. Um, so again, we're in the soft launch. Uh, still working through some things. Um, also, wanted to share with you one thing today. On the uh, board, we have uh, someone named Abraham Maslow. Now, you might look at my shirt and think, oh, he's talking about Pink Freud, you know, dark side of your mom. <laughs> Love this t-shirt. Um, but Freud, Sigmund of the Sigmund variety. Uh, Freud wrote his famous paper, The Interpretation of Dreams, back around 1900. And uh, 43 years later, uh, so psychology was, was kind of like gaining speed over the next four decades. Um, and, and now we have Abraham Maslow, who came and gave us what he called the hierarchy of needs. You see up there, the hierarchy of needs. Now, as you know, I try to share different heuristics with you, different tools, things that I've used in the workplace, working with teams and others. I even use this one on myself. Um, just a real quick spin on, uh, on the hierarchy of needs. Let's see if I can get this to work. So you see now, yeah, oops, wrong. Well, there's Patreon, so there's your reminder. Tiny tip jar, tiny tip jar, everyone. Right here, tiny tip jar. Um, <clears throat> good stuff coming for patrons for patrons, especially in this founders area in the soft launch phase, but I'll, I'll leave that for the more discussion later on. So on the Agile Coffee website, I've got the Agile Coaches Toolkit. Uh, some of you may have seen this, probably many of you haven't, but that yellow deck of cards, this deck of cards that I talk about, all the cards themselves are, um, are here. And so if you click on Hierarchy of Needs, uh, you come to this um, underserved page right now, but on it, it's got, you know, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, which he published, again, in a paper back in 1943 uh, with the title of The Theory of Human Motivation. Um, so down at the bottom, this is just a brief overview. I'm not going to go deep dive into it. That's for patrons, for the extra content available for patrons only. See what I'm doing there? Um, on the very bottom level, though, you've got what Maslow called these uh, physiological needs, things that you cannot, you know, make any uh, advances in any other needs area until you have these covered, he says. They're the base, they're the foundation. Things like food, do you have enough food, do you have water to drink? <laughs> if not, right? Uh, warmth, uh, otherwise you freeze to death, you, you, you die of thirst, you die of starvation, no sleep, no rest, you know. These things you can't function without. So have these physiological needs. And then the next one up is safety. So do you have security? Do you have a home or someplace regular that you can visit, so you can live out of, right? Uh, safety is kind of embedded in that idea. So these two needs, the safety and the physiological, they form uh, the foundation. He called these uh, the basic needs, basically. The, the materialistic, the material, sorry, the material needs, if, if you want to go kind of that way. And then uh, the next three up were kind of more, more spiritual, more kind of internal types of needs, right? So they're not things anymore, but now they're relationships and states of being. So, for example, that third layer right there in the middle, belongingness and love. Um, you've got things like meaningful relationships, love, family, uh, intimacy, and friends. And, and if I could be real with you just for a moment here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look back, look back at you here. COVID and, you know, everything in the last year plus now, <laughs> um, you know, we've been home. We've been kind of in our own, if we're fortunate enough to have some place to, to stay regularly, like a house, a, an apartment, whatever it might be. But we haven't been seeing other people face to face as often as maybe we, we had in the past. 
for many of us. And so for me, if I'm speaking from my heart, I think this, this is kind of where I was working for the past year on and off is like, I'm missing my friendships. I'm missing the relationships that I've had when I meet at the coffee house, when we go and do our, our lean coffees. Um, when I do trainings, when I go visit clients, or just hanging out with friends. So for me, this, this layer here really meant a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm working through it, and I hope you are too. Uh, and then the one further up from that, still in these uh, psychological needs that Maslow called them, are esteem needs. Now it's like, now I've, I've got the, the relationships underway. Now I'm kind of building to get respect in the workplace, respect in the community, build up my self-esteem. Um, kind of recognition, a uh, little bit of prestige, you know, you're feeling accomplished. Whew, that's a hurdle for a lot of us, right? And then finally, the top of the pyramid, if you can get through all the four layers beneath it, this, this final layer, the top level there, according to Maslow, is this self-actualization. Like, what is my purpose in life? What am I going to give back? How am I going to achieve my full potential? So um, this can be summed up as self-fulfillment types of needs. So what I look to when I see this pyramid and, and when I work with teams or others in the workplace is I try to think, you know, and, and I ask questions too, certainly, if there's ever a conflict, a disagreement, if someone comes to me with a problem, you might start to ask them, well, first of all, how are you doing on these lower levels of needs? Are you, are you at least satisfied there? Have you, have you met your needs there? And then begin to, to move up. So someone might be stuck in that third layer. You know, I, f I really don't feel like I have enough uh, relations in the workplace. You know, I'm not getting along well with people or I don't know um, who to ask or who to pair up with or whatever it might be. Um, so there might be some work to do there before they could um, achieve some of the other visions of success that they have for some of the higher needs, the self-actualization especially. So you might have to do a little digging. I often see this hierarchy of needs, which again Maslow said was related to human motivation. See this is related to the work of Dan Pink, uh, Drive, you know he's got the uh, autonomy, mastery, and purpose. And then there's also the uh, five dysfunctions of a team. And maybe there's not a true relationship, but for me, maybe I, I just associate because it also has a pyramid model. But there's something about moving up. You can't move from one uh, lower level up until you satisfy that lower level. Only then can you advance up the, up the pyramid. So that was it for your idea today. Uh, check back because we will go deeper. I'm going to talk to someone coming up here about more of the psychological aspects of especially team building. Um, <clears throat> there's a book, Why Teams Don't Work, by Dr. Harvey Robbins, and we'll get into that a little bit later too, I assure you. There's so much here to learn and so much to share. So if you want to help me do that, um, right now I'm asking you to go to the Patreon page. That's at patreon.com slash agile coffee. You can join as a founding member as we're still in our soft launch. By the way, if you're looking at this later and you're wondering, is he still in soft launch or did they do their grand opening yet? Just read the comments below. It will say, I'll update the description after we've left our soft launch. But as a founding member, I'm going to be adding new and creative uh, benefits for you as well. So, so your contributions help me create content. Mostly they help me hire out some of the, uh, the activities that I had been doing in the past that I really need to make um, kind of offload delegate out uh, and make space so I can continue doing what I truly love, which is finding this content that I've got like in the toolkit or other places, uh, finding my friends and, and other relations to come on board and, and share with you so that you can navigate uh, through your own career, through your own workplace. Um, and in that way, we're all going to be able to thrive together. Um, so it looks like your order's up. I'm going to let you go. Until next time, this is Vic Bonacci, your barista. Enjoy your coffee with friends.